Alright, in this tutorial we're going to go over how to create a title and how to make it pop by blurring the background video, just like this one. Alright, so I have a new project open in Premiere. I've imported my clip here. Alright, in this tutorial we're going to go over how to create it. So we're just going to drag that into my timeline. And what we're going to do uh, is first add a title. So I'm going to do that by hitting Control T. That will add a title layer here. And then I'm going to call this um, test title. And if you want to edit your text, I won't go too much into that, but you can go up here after clicking on your title, go to Window Essential Graphics. And then over here on the right, you'll click on your title and then you can go choose a font. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use something like this. Then up here, you can click on um, centering the text vertically and horizontally. So we've got our uh, title here on top. You're going to want to make sure that this title pink layer is above your video layer here. Uh, I'm going to move it to the end here because I want to start my clip um, with not showing the title and then we're going to create a title and how to make it pop by blurring. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit over and then I'm going to click on the title, hit control D because I want the title to fade in here. So control D will add these cross dissolve transitions. And so now we want to blur the background. So the way I'm going to do that is come up here to window and click effects. You can also use the keyboard shortcut shift seven. And then I'm going to type in blur. And then I'm going to go with Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to click and drag this on top of my video. So now the effect has been applied to this video, but you can see that nothing's actually blurred in my video. So I need to go in and adjust the effect. So the way I'm going to do that is through the effects controls window or shift five. So if you click window effect controls, that will bring you to this effect controls panels. Uh, you can then see the Gaussian blur uh, effect down here. So now if I adjust this, you can either type in a number or if you just click and, and hold your mouse down and then drag to the right or left, you'll see that the numbers increase here. And then if you look over here, you'll see that there's now a blur going on. Okay, so let's say we want to blur it this much, about 95. Well now we've applied that blur to the entire effect, or to the entire clip, and we don't want to do that. We only want the effect to start blurring at about this moment. So you can see my cursor is showing in the timeline here um, where we want it to show up. So this is what we would use keyframes for. Keyframes allow us to add an effect at a certain point in the clip. So in our case, we want to change the blurriness in the middle of the clip. I'm gonna click on this stopwatch and you'll see here a little diamond and that is our keyframe. So it's saying that at this point in the clip, my blurriness is at 95. Now this is the only keyframe we have in here. So, uh, it will stay at 95 still through the duration of the clip. We need to tell it that we want zero blurriness at the very beginning of the clip. So I'm going to drag my cursor over to the beginning. So now we're at the beginning of the clip and I'm going to take this down to zero. So now you can see uh, there's another little keyframe here at the very beginning. So it's now going to calculate. It knows between this keyframe here, the very first one, and this keyframe here, we're gonna go from zero to 95 blurriness. 
And so it's going to calculate for each frame what the blurriness should be. So you'll see as I play this, All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna we slowly are starting to get blurry, to blurry a title and until we hit 95. And now we're at 95 and it will stay at 95 through the rest of the clip. So we don't want that, right? We want it to go from zero to 95, not so gradually. We want it to happen pretty quickly once the title comes up. So I'm gonna drag my zero keyframe over and I might drag my 95 one over so that it will start to blur once the title starts to fade in. So I bring my cursor to where the title starts to fade in and that's where that's about where I want the fade, the blurriness to start. So now if we watch, it will start at zero. All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna go over how to create a title and how to make it pop by blurring the background video, just like this one. So now that's pretty much it. We go from zero to 95 as the title fades in and you could go even, you could add in another keyframe that makes it even blurrier. So we start at 95 and then as the, the clip ends, it blurs out even more. To make it pop by blurring the background video, just like this one. And that's it. I hope this is helpful. Uh, please leave any comments with any suggestions or tips. And we'll see you in the next video.